to allow you to set up your printer connected to your computer. And one of the best links should say official Canon servers and support, and then comma Canon drivers, Canon tech will not. You want to make sure you're getting this directly from Canon's own website. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you might get different links to suggested sites here. And I would highly recommend you go directly through Canon. You can get about any printer software drivers you need through them if you have a Canon printer. So we're going to select that. You want to click on this drivers and downloads area. And then it's going to say enter a model down here. It should say very clearly on your printer it's somewhere. If you still have your sticker connected to your printer like you didn't remove the initial sticker, it should definitely say it on there. So you just want to start typing in whatever it says. So you could type in MG, for example, that's a somewhat popular printer line that they have. So you could type in MG, and basically any part of the printer name that matches the characters you're listing here should show up. And you want to make sure you're getting the exact same one that your printer is. Even though some might be able to overlap, it's highly recommended you get the direct driver for your specific make and model. And then once you have that in here, you want to click on the Go button. And now you want to go up and make sure that the printer matches your printer in this illustration up here. And you also want to scroll down and you can see there's some driver software down here. I think it would just redirect you down to this page if you clicked on drivers and downloads, which it does. And you can see up here it says the operating system. If you want to select a different version of the Windows OS, more than welcome to. So if you're downloading the driver for a different computer, you can select an earlier version of Windows or even Macintosh devices if you chose to do so. And then once you're done doing that, all you have to do at this point is just click on the select button right here. And then click on the download button. And then once it's finished downloading, you want to click on the executable to run it. And you do want to make sure it's a verified publisher and it says Canon Inc. here. I would highly recommend you check that. Don't just click on yes. You want to make sure you're getting it directly from Canon. And then click on yes. So depending on what driver software you're downloading, it might look a little bit different than this. So I'm just going to put that out there. So it's going to say starting the software installation, follow the on-screen instructions. Select next. And again, this is going to look different depending on what printer you select. So don't be surprised if your appearance is a little bit different than mine. And at this point, it's a pretty straightforward walkthrough, but we're going to go a little bit further with this tutorial. So we're just going to hold on for a bit. So you might get a listing here asking what kind of software you want to install. I would recommend keeping them all checked unless you have a space issue on your computer. It only comes out to be about one and a half, one and three quarter gigabytes here. So if you wanted to free up some space, you could always remove my image bar and if you didn't want to use pictures or create and modify images through there. And if you just want it to be really critical, you can just keep the MP drivers checked. So for the purpose of this video, just to speed up the video a bit, I'm just going to install the drivers and the user manual. The manual is only about 10 megabytes, so it's not very big. So I'm going to select next here. After you look to the end user license agreement, you want to select yes. And then select next one more time. And then it'll begin downloading and installing the software at this moment.
And now you want to follow along the ideal connection. So if this is going to be using a USB connection and Pierce's printer, you want to make sure you plug it in. If it has wireless capabilities, you might be prompted if you want to explore that option as well. You want to just follow along whatever is most applicable to you guys. So pretty straightforward. So at this point, it's just telling us to turn on the computer and it's even pointing to us where on the printer we should turn it on. So it really can't be any more straightforward than that. So I'm just going to close out of here. Next, start the IJ Scan Utility Program. It can be found in your list of programs or applications in a folder labeled Canon Utilities. Now, click the Settings button in the lower right hand corner of the IJ Utility window. On the left hand side of the Settings dialog box, select Document Scan. Then make sure the Data Format setting, located in the Save Settings section, is set to PDF Multiple Pages. This will allow you to scan multiple pages of a document into one file. Some scanners can be set to automatically scan both sides of the document loaded into the ADF. To enable this feature, select Document ADF Auto Duplex in the Select Source category. Verify that the save location is correct and then click OK. Click the PDF document icon to start scanning. You may see a confirmation screen after scan. Follow any on-screen instructions. If you're using default settings, your scan will be saved as a PDF file in your documents folder.